I'm Big Cal, and welcome to my world. Today, another recent video game, Pickles video. Start off with Game Boy Advance game, and it is Crash Bandicoot XS. Um, this one obviously came after the uh, Naughty Dog Epic Trilogy on the PS1. And, well, as we all know, Crash Bandicoot games, once Naughty Dog left, took a huge nosedive. However, there are two, I believe, this one and obviously a sequel to it for the Game Boy Advance, which were actually really good. Uh, they're mostly 2D platformers, but you know, set in the style that you would expect from Crash Bandicoot when it goes to the 2D. And there even is some 3D elements to it. Um, I'm on the second or third world now, and every time there's an ice level, uh, when you get to the point where normally in the 2D you'd fall down and you know then you'd move into the 3D and go forward. Now, when you fall down the hole, it's the reverse way and uh, you have the polar bear being chased by a giant polar bear. So it's actually cool to see that the Game Boy Advance was able to do those kind of levels. But again, for the most part, it is just um, 2D. But it is really good and reminds me of the good Crash Bandicoot games. So definitely worth picking this one up if you're a fan of Crash Bandicoot. Uh, so more um, more recent games now, I got the Uncharted Trilogy for the PS3. I've been uh, wanting to play these for some time now, I've actually tried to get hold of them before. Um, at one point I was queued up for about half an hour in a game store. Uh, with these in my hand, it was all pre-owned, but it was buy two get one free, which they often do with pre-owned games. So I uh, picked them up, waited half an hour in a queue, got there, handed them over, spent 10 minutes stood at the queue while the guy's looking in the back trying to find all the discs. Can't find disc for the second game, so I ended up having just to put them back because there was no other game in the buy two get one free I wanted. Uh, and eventually I managed to pick them up now, all three of them, Uncharted 1, Uncharted 2, uh, this does come in the special edition uh, tin case, but doesn't come with any of the special edition uh, content. Okay, where was I? So, uh, the postie just came to deliver two parcels! None for me, they're for across the road, so uh, keep hold of those until they show up. Uh, anyway, yeah, um, got the Uncharted 2, the limited edition collector's case. We didn't come with any of the special edition stuff, just in the case, but I knew that going in, it was just a case of it was the same price for this in the collector's case uh, as it was in you know, the normal PS3 case. I figured it looks kind of cool in that case, so I'll pick it up. And of course, you know, Uncharted 3. So I got all those for a very good price for the PS3, looking forward to uh, eventually playing through them. Heard a lot of good things about them, especially with number 4 coming out now, people are going crazy over them. So looking forward to playing those. Plus, uh, of course, they're from Naughty Dog, who originally made the Crash Bandicoot games, which I just talked about. And moving in now to some brand new, brand new style games, well, sort of brand new for this generation, uh, at least the brand new releases. Uh, first up is... New Super Mario Bros U and the Luigi DLC for the Wii U. Uh, these are in the Nintendo Selects um, oh, selection. <laughs> Not really sure what to call them. Uh, basically, sort of like platinum and things like that when they sell so many. Uh, they just released these last week. Uh, pre ordered this one and the next one. I already own this, uh, both of these digitally. I uh, got the first, I got Super, New Super Mario Bros U free. Um, with the download code that you got from Mario Kart 8 when it came out and then I bought the DLC but I really wanted to own them um, physically and while the Nintendo Selects are recommended at 19.99 most sites are doing them much cheaper so I got this for like 16 quid so I thought for that price I'll pick them up now because odds are it's not going to be that cheap in a few years time uh, so this is actually probably going to be the one game that I own that will remain sealed because I have absolutely no reason to open it. And finally, the another Nintendo Selects have been after this for a long time, but up until now, the price has never gone down. It's only sort of remained about £32. So I finally picked it up, and this one cost me £8 in total because I had uh, an Amazon gift card I could use with it. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Love Donkey Kong Country Returns on the Wii. So I'm very happy that this was in the uh, Selects collection and I could pick it up for a much cheaper price than it's been since it came out. 
and I will in fact be reviewing this at some point in time. I've almost finished up the script, it'll just be a case of me um, finishing that and then finding the time to record it because it will no doubt take me hours to get through the, the uh, script because I'm terrible at reading the script. Anyway, um, it's a really fun game though, definitely worth picking up. So, I'm Big Cal, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.